hey welcome to you in my channel in this video I'm going to show you how to add this feature WooCommerce user master logout in to check out so this tutorial will be very helpful if you are WooCommerce developer or WordPress developer or even if you are wanted to uh, work on your website yourself then you can continue this tutorial with me so I want to show you the live example what I am actually going to show you in this tutorial and going to teach you or you can learn from this tutorial so this is my one of client website I have developed recently this is the e-commerce website using WordPress and WooCommerce and uh, let me show you the example then you can understand better so I wanted to uh, do shopping on this website so I'm going to add a product right for example I'm going to add this one add to cart my product has been added the cart so I'm going to click on the cart icon then I'm going to click on the process to check out so here are the checkout page so uh, if you look at this page that there is no option to log in and register user can uh, directly check out from this website so um, we are going to learn in this page that uh, my client wanted to user must log in or register then they can check out so without login and register if they click on the checkout they will redirect the login and register page so we are going to make this function or do this as following client requirements so to do this uh, we have to log in wordpress dashboard then you have to click on the uh, wp file manager this is very popular plugin right now for editing wordpress file from your wordpress dashboard then you can use this plugin so i'm going to click on the wp file manager then going to click on the wp content then themes then open the current active theme so um, uh, let me check my current active themes so i'm going to click on the appearance then click on the themes then i can find out which theme is currently active in my wordpress website so uh, my current active theme is hello elementor so that's why I'm going to click on the open hello elementor just double click on the folder or you can also open this one by following click on the right button so I have just cli double click on the folder so I have open the hello elementor now i am going to click on the function.php file and click on the right button of my mouse then going to click again in the code editor so now i am going to add the button then i will add this code so i'm going to copy and paste this code here you no need to do anything as a non-technical or beginner you just have to paste your checkout page id right here so how you can get your uh, checkout page id you have to visit your checkout page by login then just put your mouse right here in the edit page then you can look uh, or find uh, this and dialog box or notification that your page id so you look right here when i put my mouse I right on the edit page so if i put my mouse on the uh, edit page icon then i can see there is open a, 
tax that display my product uh, or post uh, page ID is 143 so I am going to uh, add this ID right here 143 then click on the save okay so I have saved this one now uh, you must follow this page or this uh, right now very carefully so I w in the first time I have tried to check out uh, my item then they give me option to check out by info uh, providing my billing information but if I want to for example I'm going to home page again then going to uh, add any item for example I'm going to add this item at this time so going to click on the uh, icon cart icon button then I want to process to checkout so in the previously same as I click on the process to checkout and they redirect uh, they bring me to this page checkout page but right now after saving this code I am going to process to checkout to click on the process to checkout button then look at the result look at the tab bar and the face very carefully wow that has been now redirect me at my login and register page so that exactly my client wanted to do and we have de done successfully this feature so i hope if you are freelancer or wordpress developer or woocommerce developer then you get benefit from these tutorials because you have learned a new thing so thank you for your time to watch these tutorials if you like this video then subscribe to my channel and uh, click on the like button have a nice day